which actually means using two chips but switch one chip to the other side of the chips every time you do a trick it doesn't matter what kind of trick it is it could be a flip it could be a twirl but providing the first chip becomes the last and last becomes the first then that's a switch this is called a switch variation I found over 30 variation of it um, I can show you a few of it um, that basically that's what it is I can't really teach you much on this <laughs> it's actually depending what chip you're using you can use flip you can use twirl you can a fun flip which is like like a normal fun flip but with two chips which makes it much harder that's all see chip a uh, fun flip I always show you twice maybe some cases show you three times um, so that's a fun flip then maybe I'll show you the um, okay the one called a uh, finger flip same thing two chips don't forget it's always two chips because that's how you get a switch otherwise it won't, won't be a switch okay fun flip I mean finger flip that time um, next one I'll show you the lockout you push that chips to the back so you got a switch it's called lockout but always have two chips okay, next one I'll tell you is called uh, I've called it the tail flip what basically happens is you push the back chips and then you twist it and you put it in the front see another switch show you one more time push the back chips turn around it's a tail flip it's actually pushing the back one to the front pushing the back one to the front see? Uh, next one will be uh, they call it run around for whatever reason I don't know but I've called it the head flip so basically you pull that second chip down so the front chips can have your uh, the flip and that goes back to the back so I call it the head flip because we've got a tail flip so I might as well call this one the head flip alright now you get more advanced from that point we want, want the, the thumb flip but go backwards reverse thumb flip I'm using two chips as well which makes it harder again see that's a reverse thumb flip I'll do it one more time reverse thumb flip so there oh this is took me quite a while to do as well this one's called a U-turn I don't know what they call it uh, in the normal context but I've called it the U-turn basically you know like a U-shape so you put in the front you want and make a U-shape and it goes to the back so like this don't forget it's with two chips it's much harder with two chips as well so this is the U-turn you're making a U-turn uh, next one I'm going to show you is called front to back or back to front I think it's called back to front but I've called it the eclip basically you pull the back one out and put it into the front of this so you've got a switch uh, technique so and that becomes a clip put it in the back close it as a clip it's quite simple well looks very simple but it's, it's quite hard most of the, most of the switches are hard because you're using only two chips you don't get many weights to mess around with okay next one is I've seen a few people do it it's a bit of a common trick but not many people can do it as well we call it, they well call it pick, but um, it got confused with the pick over. So I've called this pick up. You just pick the front up, front one up, with the, these two fingers. Uh, somehow you pick it up, and then you drop it in the back. So it's pick up. So pick up is very difficult because you only got limited rooms, and your finger are not used to picking up with that two fingers. So. If you can do the pickup, you're quite good at chip tricks. Should be. See, pick up. Next one to the switch, which is not so difficult. It's like a thumb flip, but this time you do a thumb flip, but doing it that way. Well, I call it step up. So basically, you step that one up to the top. See, step up. It's just like a thumb flip, but you're doing it in the in that manner instead of that manner so if you can do the thumb flip you can try this one step up okay next to the step up which one is very, quite a nice looking thing um, they've called it um, adoption which is uh, 
pulling the bottom chip to the top. Well, I call it spin out. It looks to me like it's spinning the back, the bottom one out. So I call it spin out. So that's the score I call spin out. The chip from the bottom to the top is very really difficult. I call it spin out. Okay. The next one to that, what I call is um, bottoms up. It's almost doing the head flip, but this in this um, this style or the run around. It's like run around. But you do it this way, not not that way. See, this is normal run around, see? or I call it head flip, whatever. But you're doing the same trick, but this, in this this at this shape or this style. Okay, you you pull the back chip, but you flip that one up the over. So it's called bottoms up. I don't know is it my invention or does somebody already know this one, but I I haven't seen nobody done it yet. So I call it Stevens bottoms up. Okay, next one it gets much harder. It's like a, it's a reverse from flip actually, but you're doing it that way instead of that way. So you're doing a reverse from flip, but at that sh that angle, which is, makes it more difficult. I haven't seen nobody do this one yet, so I've called it Stephen's thumbs up. <laughs> so it's like putting your thumbs up. So Stephen's thumbs up switch. Next one to that, what I call the guillotine. Uh, nobody done it, I haven't seen nobody done it, which means picking the back one up and drop it to the front, something like so, all the way over and drop it. It's not like a guillotine action, and that's why I call it Stephen's guillotine. The other one is um, a 12 variation of it, so it's a 12 but switch. What you're trying to do is get the front band back to the back, but with the twelve. So I call it front to back twelve, front to back twelve switch. Then after that, I'll show you the back to front twelve. Okay, now I'm going to show you the back to front twelve, which is picking the back one to the front, but with the twelve in between. Okay, don't have much time, so I'm going to show you just a couple of samples. Then um, we got once you've done that, if you learned that. The other one they can do is the upload. You do is pick the front one up to the top. Now you do the front flip, but don't flip it over. You leave it there, and then you chop that by doing that. So that's upload. Upload. But because you've got upload, we might have one called a download. Download is you put those two chips to the bottom, so they between those two fingers. But you pick the back one up, and do the twirl, and put it to the front. So that's what I call it a download, but it's a switch. A sub zero, which I do, I do it like this. So I catch that one with these two fingers. At the same time, I keep the top one at the top, and I do a, a kind of somersault, and then we put the front one chips to the back of it. This is the all I call sub zero. I do it one more time, catch it there, need the front one, top one there, and you do it like some kind of somersault, put it back. It's finger to finger switch. Or twirl anyway, so it's still a switch. You twist that and you twist that and you twist that, and you see the front becomes the back, and the back becomes the front, but with with the finger to finger twirl in between. Remember the white chips in the front, now it should be at the end when I start when I finish. Okay, one finger, second finger, and do a three finger, and see the front one's going to the back, it's a switch, but three finger to finger. Okay, the last one I'm going to show you is my invention as well. It's called a Stephen Super Flip. Okay, you do the similar to what I do earlier, like a Sub Zero. You catch it, and you do some kind of Sub Zero style, but now you don't drop it now. You do a, you do a knuckle row in here, so your chips can go all the way around to the other side of the fingers. Then, from that position, you go back down again to a kind of knuckle row, but this time from the front, and you finish it from the back again. One more time, hold it, do some kind of sub zero, but don't finish there. Do a knuckle row, catch it to the other side of the hand, drop it down with a different kind of knuckle row, and then there you go.